how does it make you feel about Zarka? Because two weeks ago, when you mentioned that Mode article about Google, you just kept saying all fingers are pointing to open source decentralization as the fastest way to improve these technologies. And that's exactly what, well, that's been the bedrock of everything you've been doing at Singularity Net, which of course then funnels right into everything you're gonna do with Zarka. So how are you feeling about your new venture and how it's gonna be able to compete with these massive trillion dollar tech companies? So I think clearly the AGI race is on and that's exciting. Some of us have been waiting waiting for it for a long time. And you know, I remember in the period, say 2005 through 2011, 12, I was working on this two volume book called Engineering General Intelligence, which had a bunch on deep neural nets and language processing and logical reasoning, mental simulation modeling, long short term memory, attention, self modifying AI and all that. And one thing I was thinking while I was working on on these books together with a couple of co authors was, you know, it's good now you're taking time to think very deeply through all these different aspects of what it takes to make a thinking machine, because at some point, things are going to start unfolding like bang, 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 bang. There's going to be a lot of money. There's going to be a lot of competition. There's going to be a lot of pressure. And you're not going to have, you know, six months to think about the best way to interleave uncertainty with deductive logic, right? And you're not going to have six months to think about how does simulation modeling really tie with hierarchical perception and with cognitive control of perception. And uh, so as I was carefully thinking through all these things over a period of years, playing with prototype code and writing, writing books and papers, it was in my mind, like we are, we're like stockpiling knowledge and understanding about how to do things. We can't do all of them yet because computers are, are, are too slow and we don't have the money to hire people to write all the code. We can write prototype code, we can write math, we can think it through. And then when push comes to shove, we're gonna have all this thinking done in advance. We're gonna be able to like take, take all this stuff out of the research closet and deploy it using the toys, the, the tools that are available at that time. And so now, now I feel like that time has come, right? So now, now the fact that we've already thought through how to solve so many of the problems that you confront on the path to making an AGI, that comes to, to serve as an advantage for us. Because indeed, in my life right now, I don't have time to think for six months, just sitting myself in a, in a room for think six months, walking out in the woods every day, musing undistracted about like, how do you, how do you interleave higher order uncertainty with probabilistic deduction or something, right? I don't, because I'm just doing, leading too many crazy projects trying to deploy impactful stuff too fast. I try to carve out hours or a few days here and there for deep thinking, but I'm not able to carve out months for deep thinking in, in what I'm doing right, right now. But we've got all this stuff that we can bring bring to bear. And I, I think that is one of the two advantages that we have over big tech in, in the AGI race. So what, what, one of the advantages is compared to the teams working on AGI within big tech companies, not just me, but the rest of our team in Singularity Net and OpenCog ecosystem, some of whom are within Zarka, some within True AGI, some within Singularity Net Foundation, some within the OpenCog open source community. I think this group of AGI researchers and developers we have has actually been thinking about, prototyping about working on AGI related tech longer than anyone in OpenAI and longer and with more breadth and depth than most people in in in, Go in google for, for for that matter so that that's we don't have as many engineers as they do but we've got a lot of length and depth of 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 thinking in our in our team now you've got a team currently of you know dozens of agi researchers and in, in in our side versus much larger 
teams within these big tech companies, but there's a lot of history in the software world that, you know, a modest sized team of the right people with a unified purpose and the right mindset and knowledge have upended, you know, behemoth companies over and over and over and over again. So I, I think, you know, now that LLMs have shown what they can do, there's a lot of thinking about, okay, how do we connect LLMs with knowledge graphs to solve their issues with factuality? How do we connect them with, say, Wolfram Alpha or other, you know, more structured reasoning systems so they can do multi-step reasoning better? Well, you know, we've been we've been working on connecting neural nets with knowledge graphs and logic systems for decades, right? And then we haven't had the compute firepower to do what GBT4 can do now. But in terms of the next step being connecting LLMs with knowledge graphs and structured reasoning, I mean, we have far more depth of knowledge and far more detailed plans of how to do that than, than, than a Google or, or, or Microsoft does. So that this is, this is one advantage I think we have is just better knowledge and more in-depth worked out plans about what is, what is the next step beyond, beyond these sorts of large language models that, that, that are having so much success now. The other advantage that we have is shared by the rest of the open source world. And this just goes back to there is no, that there is no moat memo. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public. And he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year's going to be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that wanna join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm gonna tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. So let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days, but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core, 
it's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy, apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you gonna do? What's the choice that you're going to make?